Hey guys, I'm back with another What I Eat in a Day video showing you everything that I eat. I have been doing intermittent fasting since about August and kind of slowly worked my way up to it uh, solely just to keep my calories down and I enjoy eating at night. So I'm kind of like saving those morning chunk of calories for the evening, but I'll link to some previous videos down below uh, that kind of explain it more along with my What I Eat in a Day playlist because if you're anything like me, when I find somebody who I enjoy who, do, who does What I Eat in a Days, uh, I watch basically every single one of them. And that way you can also kind of see how my eating has progressed because as I've said a million times over uh, just trying to kind of like develop a healthier relationship with food and also just work my way into eating less during the week because I tend to overeat really badly which caused me to put on like 25 pounds especially when it comes to stressful times and just also it's all about making small changes and doing things that are um, realistic for your lifestyle and your goals so whether or not you're intermittent fasting or trying to lose weight I think these recipes could be helpful a lot of them I mean this one I'm having for lunch isn't really a recipe I'm just combining a couple things but I think a lot of people get really hung up on oh my god you do this or you eat too much of this or you don't eat enough of this and you just take what I'm doing and make it um, kind of you know something that you can you can work with which is exactly how I've kind of been working so I'm gonna show you what I'm having for lunch incredibly simple lunch here today I am having this Kirkland chicken tortilla soup which is from Costco it came in like two big tubs this was actually frozen so I took it out to defrost this morning and it was like nine dollars for the two big tubs and as I've said before like sometimes I eat processed food and I have no problem with that it's convenient this is still low calorie it's got vegetables in there clean ingredients the chicken looks good it tastes really good uh, and I didn't feel like making my own soup and then on the side I'm gonna have like mini quesadillas with this uh, light mozzarella cheese this is technically pizza mozzarella but it's all I had uh, and this is just so convenient like if you're working or something it's so easy just to divide this up into containers and take it to work uh, and it is actually really really delicious but you can of course make your own soup if you have the time and desire so basically all I'm gonna do is microwave a serving of the soup throw some of this in a tortilla and fry it I never really cook with oil anymore I use like the spray oil just to keep it down because cooking with oil can add a lot of like hidden calories if you're not tracking it and if you are trying to keep uh, control of your calories and I do use uh, my fitness pal to track as well so and a food scale to measure my cheese so and my soup so I'm gonna go ahead and just put this all together and I'll be right back so here is lunch this was something I ate basically all last week <laughs> and continuing into this week uh, I'm sad that I don't have them easy access to a Costco. Actually, if you live in Toronto, we use a service called Comfort TO to order from Costco every couple months just to get things like toilet paper and whatnot and we'll get some food as well if you don't want to have a Costco membership because we used to like take the subway and it would take a really long time. We'd be dragging back like all these bulk goods. I mean, we rented a car and stuff before, but anyways, it's a good service that delivers it right to your door. Uh, so I think I have some kind of code or for, for a friend. So I'll link to them down below. But here's the soup. It just has like chicken, peppers, corn, really good kind of a tomato base. And then here's the quesadillas. Nothing in them, just cheese. You could add vegetables or jalapenos or something. But I just wanted to go with something simple. And for me, like, I love soup, but I need to have some kind of bread product. Like I need to have like buttered bun or quesadilla in this case I can't just have soup maybe someday but anyways this is a really good lunch still pretty light in terms of calories and really really satisfying especially while it's still a little bit cold outside uh yeah so this is lunch so it's time for a mid-afternoon snack it's a real <laughs> random one but I did want to mention I was just drinking some water in it I put this what's it called stir fruit punch water mix it's okay in all honesty um, back in the day when I used to go out and um, like party a little bit more, we would always use these for mixed drinks in university. So it kind of brings you back to that, but it's also pretty good if you're looking to mix up your water. Also good to add like fresh fruit uh, as well. So for my snack, I'm having these veggie crisp salt and vinegar. The fact that they are veggie, I mean, that doesn't really matter. There's like no vitamins, like just eat vegetables, but they seem like they're going to be a pretty good snack. I have two servings in here, which is 140 calories, some carrots, and then this like disgusting wet garlic looking thing is a mango steen. I got this in Chinatown. Actually so good, so sweet. Um, and yeah, 
I don't know if it's any good. I bought it in Chinatown the other day and I just had to butcher it to get it open. Obviously tropical fruit in Canada is not at its best ever, but especially in March, but I couldn't resist because I tried these last year and I thought they were so good. Anyway, so here is my very random little snack here for this afternoon. Back with another snack-ish, I guess we'll call it. Uh, feeling kind of snacky today. So that's why I purposefully had a little bit of a lighter lunch to allow me to have the room to snack. So I'm gonna have some raisin brand I have been like snacking or whatever you want to call it using cereal as a dessert so much lately now raisin bran not so much uh, more like fruit loops and lucky charms but I was at the grocery store the other day and it was just kind of calling my name gotta say though like not enough freaking raisins in here like that is not accurate raisins are the best part because otherwise it's kind of branny and a little bit bland but gonna have it with a little bit of almond milk I always 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 weigh out my cereal that's another really tricky thing if you pour a bowl of cereal it can so easily be like 300 and some odd calories which again nothing wrong with something being 300 calories but it's all about awareness and a lot of people you know they'll be on my fitness pal and they'll eat junk food or they'll eat more than their calories and then you won't log it for me one of the most important things for me has been just being honest with myself if I go over my calories fine if I eat way too much of them something I should have totally okay but just keep that in mind because if you're you know having a big bowl of cereal here and there and not tracking it and then you're gaining weight and then you're getting frustrated because you you know you according to my fitness pal you're putting in the work but you're not actually losing the weight if that makes sense so anyways that's a lot of conversation about some freaking cereal but uh that's what i'm gonna have now as a snack so i went really back and forth on this next snack that i'm having and then i realized how ridiculous it is if i wasn't filming what i eat in a day i would eat this bagel and enjoy myself and feel no guilt about it but because i'm filming what i eat in a day and because youtube is such a there's my dryer such a judgmental space when it comes to eating and all that kind of stuff people love to tell you you know i've had people say oh you're eating too many carbs you won't lose any weight or you know you're not eating this it's too much this it's too much that and like i said it's a process and i don't want to have to overthink the fact that i'm having a freaking bagel this is not sprouted it's not organic it's not anything it's literally dempsters it's white flour refined sugar with some base cell on it uh, i measured the uh base cell it's just a serving there and this is what i was craving it's about to be that time of the month and literally all i want is carbs uh, and my dinner is not going to be particularly um nutritionally dense but the plan is to stay on track calorically but not necessarily you know get all the vitamins and minerals that one should get in a particular day and not every day is going to be great and i have days that are way worse than this and i'll probably never have the guts to put those on youtube but at the very least i figured i can show you this bagel and it may seem ridiculous to kind of be apologizing for eating a bagel which i'm absolutely not but i just want to explain to you because especially if you're like me and you feel like you watch all these what i eat in a days and you're like wow that person didn't eat anything sweet before they went to bed or oh my god they didn't have any snacks or they didn't blah 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 i just want to show you that like you know like bagels exist in a store like somebody's buying these obviously <laughs> someone's eating them and i am one of those people so anyways that's uh, again way too much explanation for what i'm eating but i just find like this face can just be so silly uh, and a bagel is not going to make or break you and it's going to make me happy mentally and it's going to taste delicious and that is what keeps me on track and it's not depriving myself of the things that i want to eat uh, which right now is just this delicious bagel so this is what's on the menu so it is now time for dinner i curse these black countertops for being so so dark um but anyways uh, i'm having fish and chips tonight for those of you who don't know i'm from east coast canada from newfoundland and if you don't know we have a lot of like british and irish influence so i grew up eating a lot of fish and chips and i'm really craving it tonight so tonight all i did was fry or just like pan fry with no oil like spray oil a piece of cod i kind of broke it up there because it was a pretty thick piece and then this is how i make my fries i do this all the time it's on one of these like what are these called one of these kind of racks and i put it directly in the oven on no other sheet and this way you don't need to flip it and they get crispy on both sides these are yellow potatoes which aren't as good for baking i generally recommend russet potatoes for making fries i think those are the best and then i have some gravy here which is just like a packet gravy which is pretty low calorie I'm a, I'm a gravy gal and i made my own tartar sauce with low fat mayonnaise and of course fries are nothing without some of this malt vinegar so kind of like a comforting taste of home tonight and this is about 500 calories so it feels really indulgent like there's no vegetables it's all beige my favorite color of food but at the same time i'm still able to uh, stay under my 
calorie goal, but still be super, super satisfied. So uh, this is what's for dinner. I feel like people get really caught up and it's kind of like an all or nothing thing. Like it has to be a salad or it has to be a whatever, or it's gonna be like a Big Mac, but you can find that in between, especially when you're craving things. And then to finish it all off for dessert tonight, I'm gonna have this blue menu fudge smoothie. It's kind of like a fudge sickle uh, and it's 80 calories in a serving. So there you have it. That is everything that I ate in a day. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe got a few ideas. I know for me, like I said, I love watching what I eat in a day videos, but I get kind of sick of them because I feel like everybody eats the same thing in every video. So I hope uh, you enjoyed seeing something a little bit different. Uh, and I will have a playlist listed down below if you'd like to see my previous videos. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.